They gonna write Isha. Write Isha. Who? Write, write Isha. Who the? Write Isha for Bad Girls Club. Write Isha. Write Isha. Write Isha. Right, Isha. You remember right, Isha from Bad Girls? Right, Isha. Like, yeah. <laughs> Girl, they don't remember you. Uh -huh. Bitch, try again. What's going on, Sand Gang? Bitch, it's me. Let me wipe this shit off so y'all can make sure y'all can see a pretty bitch. What's up? I know y'all have been missing my Bad Girls Club content and y'all been wanting to get more top pins and shit like that. I told y'all, I had some shit in the mix for y'all. I took a little break, now I'm back to me, okay? Without further ado, we gonna get to that shit that y'all love most. Giving y'all my opinion on these BGC bitches, cause BGC might be over and they might be doing these little remixes on, on Zeus and shit, but ain't nothing gonna hit like that old, that old pure bad girls club. Like, even though they doing these remakes, can't nothing touch the OG. So even though we been having all these OG girls with all these OG mamas, we got a lot of bitches that fell below in the shadows. A lot of bitches that, you know, when you look at the seasons, you think about your favorite bitches, yeah, but then you think about bitches that you don't think about. <laughs> like, it's bitches that, be on seasons and you be like, oh damn, she was on there. Oh shit, I forget. So today we gonna make a list about all them hoes. So them hoes, guess what? It's a video about you finally. I did my top 10 favorite. I did my top 10 worst. Now I'm gonna do the top 10 bitches that just like, they fall back to me. You know, you ever rewatch Bad Girls Club? I know if y'all be just fans, y'all be rewatching the seasons. If you don't, you're fake. But if I be the real BGC bitches, it be shit like in season that you like, it's girl that you forgot was on that, and in the scene that you like feel like you ain't never seen before, then there's stuff that you ain't really know like made sense before, but then you watch it, you be like, oh, this kind of do make sense. It's bitches that you like before, and then you love watch it and again, be like, I actually don't like this bitch. Like y'all ever do that? Now these are the top ten bitches that's 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 irrelevant to me. So it might be a bitch on here that you be like, that, that's your bitch, and guess what? Guess what, bitch? She's irrelevant to me, okay? You might fuck with her when you watch the season, but when I watch the season, she just doesn't do it for me, baby. Like, she don't, she just, she don't got no taste. She don't want no flavor, bitch. I'ma do number one is the BGC2 Andrea. If y'all don't remember BGC2, these were my OG bitches. If you've watched it since the beginning, you here now, cause all my BGC bitches on my channel, bitch, we we OG bitches. If y'all remember Tanisha's season, it was this bitch Andrea, the bitch who was doing the vlogs and shit about everybody other vlogs and shit, and then they all found her vlog, and then they all like, you know, went up on her ass and started getting up on her ass about her vlog and she started crying. This bitch cried so much, girl. She cried so fucking much, but she was like the first drama ever in the house and then she left right after like, bitch, you made a vlog talking shit about everybody then they read the vlog about you talking shit, calling them whores and shit and you start crying like, Girl, what? You my number one bitch. You not the most irrelevant bitch because you did do some shit no a bitch ever did. No bitch on BTC ever. Well, I think some bitch was sending emails about people, but that's that's my other shit. Ain't no bitch just went and wrote blogs about bitches and then got caught up in their blogs. So that's why I put you a little a little higher low in the list. Like you number eleven, but that don't make you like like don't feel it, but feel it, okay? Cause you kinda did some cute shit, but you still got kicked out. My next most motherfucking irrelevant bitch is Slim <laughs> from BBC twelve. Slim really like I know she might be relevant. I put her a little higher because she did stay in the house for a, a little longer than like most bitches. And she was pretty. Like she ain't like she wasn't like you know no ugly bitch. But she just never brought nothing to the table. Like you know every bitch had they like Red was funny and fat. Jonica was a and she you know a coochie and she had blue hair. Lauren was a country bitch that didn't know fucking her syllables and shit and wanted to fight. She was mad. She had to the most shit. Without but Delilah was a crazy bitch. Like Slim, she was a model. Like, but she never modeled. She never like really bust a fit on the show. Like, she was cute, but Slim never really looked looked cute, cute for me. Like, the only time she looked cute was when they did that little photo shoot and they like got them dressed and then she actually looked like, oh, that bitch really could get cute if she tried to. But other than that, Slim was on the show looking regular as hell. Like, girl, you supposed to be a model, but she supposed to be busting fits every day, hyper up, skin gleaming, bitch. Like, promote your brand, bitch. She never did. All that bitch did was complain and whine and get muffed in her face. And bitch, bye. <laughs> like, bye, bitch. You're lame. I'm sorry. Girl, am I eating the girls up for this video? I know y'all gonna live for this cuz these are the bitches that I don't fuck with. Like, Slim, I'm sorry, like, you was a skinny, pretty bitch, but you just like, you disappeared. No, no joking about it, cuz I'm a skinny bitch too, so I ain't gonna, ain't gonna do no jokes, but like, bitch, you disappear. The next motherfucking person uh, on my list is no. <laughs> Girl, I am spilling the tea in this video. Zuli from B9. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what y'all say about me. That's a lot of bitches that love Zuli. Cause I guess she had a nonchalant, laid back, like, you know, 
she was like, you know, a boy or attitude, but the bitch always fell back in the shadows every time something happened. Every time something happened, this bitch just looked. Like, girl, if you if you, you a lesbian girl and break some fights up or something, like, she always, oh, I'm not gonna pick no sides. And this was to have nothing to do with me. And when Megan, motherfucker, they said don't talk to Megan, Megan was like, Zoom. This bitch Zuni ain't saying nothing. Like, girl, that's what you used to doing, not saying nothing. So that was the best thing you do. When it came to, like, actually doing stuff and kicking bitches out, she a watch. And then when it came to just not talking and being quiet, oh, now I'm all of a sudden, like, I'm going to join in because this is with some shit out. Girl, you're lame. <laughs> that bitch was lame. I'm sorry. I'm fucking what you're talking about, girl. Zuni was lame as hell. Like, even at the reunion, she was lame. Her only quick clip on the reunion was, if a bitch get mad at me, then I'll fuck a bitch up. And then she was really just not talking to nobody. She was just really, like, describing how she was. But she never fucked no bitches. I mean, she never had a reason to come call no bitch. No bitch really checked Zuni because, like, they was planning on, like, you know, getting at a bitch when they came to the house. And then they seen Zuni was, like, kind of boyish or, like, they kind of piped down. But, bitch. Zuli could have really ran them hoes in real life, but she just didn't have the, she didn't have that, she didn't, you know, she didn't have it, like, the next bitch, the next bitch, is a little higher on the list, because, um, hey, I put Zuli on there, because, um, she, she, um, was in there for a long time, like, since she stayed to the end, so, bitch, she gotta be relevant, bitch, because this next bitch got her ass beat and got sent home. Christine hey. from BDC8, girl, when she, when she came to the house for them two days, and she was just like, oh yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. And then, <laughs> and then Gia like beat her ass in the motherfucking bin, and that bitch went home. And it was just like, that's all she wrote. She wasn't interested when she came in. She really didn't say sh that much shit when she was in the house. And like, I'll be forgetting when that she came when I watch it over. Like, I'll be like, oh damn, they did beat that one girl up when she came for no reason. Like, you never really rang a bell. Like, and then like you let them all just beat you up and you cry and went home. Like, that's lame as fuck. And then you went to the reunion and just. Didn't do shit like them bitches beat you up and sent you home, and then you went to reunion and just sat there like, bye, bye, bye. The next girl, BBC Seven, Cheyenne, <laughs> Cheyenne. This another bitch that went home kind of quickly and didn't even fight. So you know you got to be on the top brother bitch because you don't even fight and go home, but you got packed up and just sent home just to get sent home. Like Tiara literally packed her shit up in a nice little doggy bag and sent that bitch on her way. Cheyenne was a little laid back um, country girl from fucking season eight, and she just didn't like. She didn't. She didn't. She never like did anything. Like she just was in the house. She talked slow. She didn't like to start first. She's like, oh, dude, uh, like she didn't do shit. She was messy. And she left her shit everywhere and Tasha treated her a whole bunch of times. And then she just didn't argue with Tasha because she knew Tasha would be her ass. So she would just be like, oh, leave it alone. And then, like, after a while, Tasha just picked her out. Like, that's gonna be relevant ass shit. Like, bitch, you're, you're, you're literally your time in the BBC house. You don't even have no, you don't have no spikes or no bumps. And then you went to the reunion and didn't do stay shit at all. Like, when you seen that this bitch just kicked you out, like, you didn't, you didn't react, you just like, oh, well, dude, like, rock on, like, fuck, like, get her next time. Like, girl, what the fuck, like, bye. My next bitch, next irrelevant bitch, y'all know she was coming, motherfucking Natasha <clears throat> for Backers Club 9. Now, Natasha has so much potential, like, Natasha could have been one of them girls in real life, but instead of going against, like, you know, Christina, Erica, like if she, Sasha, Sasha could have did her shit if she would have went against the OG bitches. Like she wants to go for Andrea, a bitch that all, all most of the OG bitches did. Well, I mean, Christina and uh, Erica fucked with Andrea, but Christina, I mean, but Megan didn't. She should have went for Megan. And if Christina, if, if, if Natasha would have went for Megan, then she would have got her. She would have got her name up when she was in the house. Like she didn't do shit. Like she didn't like do anything like nobody really remembers Natasha like she's literally known for being irrelevant if you didn't look up both irrelevant BBC bitches Natasha is one of the first bitches to pop up like that's really sad bro I'm sorry you should have went in the house and shook something up like she she was just one of the bitches that she, everybody wanted her to be so much and then you know, like she really let you down so hard like everybody was like, okay Natasha gonna come in and shake it up like okay now we're gonna get a new flavor and she was motherfucking bitch water in the pot. They literally pour her on the season and she was damn. We are going down to the top four mostly relevant bitches to me in BBC history. But these bitches that's coming up, these was bitches that hyped like they was gonna do the shit and talk like they was them bitches and then like Natasha they let you down. That's why Natasha was so happy because she didn't talk like she was gonna be one of them girls, but her demeanor, how she carried herself, like people really wanted her to be one of the bitches. These bitches right here, 
talk that shit. Like, you know, oh, yeah, this is gonna be one of them girls. And then they got in the house and he was like, girl, what the fuck you come for? My next bitch is <laughs> Tina <laughs> from BGC14. I don't care. Tina from BGC14 is irrelevant as hell. That girl is literally like a spooky voice little bitch. Like, the only clip that bitch got is her punching her hands. From yelling at the Claremont twins, and the bitches didn't even take that bitch seriously. Like they literally sit at her like, uh huh, like yeah, like bitch. I'll be so mad if I'm sitting here like literally screaming, like screaming, screaming in a bitch face, and they literally sit right here like laughing. Literally, if the bitches in your own house not taking you seriously, you know you got to be irrelevant, bitch. If you literally get as mad as you ever been turned red as fuck, and bitches right here sitting here hollering, heating at your face, like no. Nah. And then she went to the reunion, and then she called Jayla irrelevant. That was the worst thing you could do. Run up on that bitch. You want to be relevant. You come in the ring and tell the most relevant bitch on the season that she's irrelevant. That's going to make you even more irrelevant, bitch. Like, you literally dug your own grave and packed that bitch up. Like, you should have, like, went to the reunion and, like, you know, smacked and ran up on Jayla or something. Or, like, you know, you had issues with fucking Kat. Run up on that drunk bitch and she didn't want to fight everybody. But she would just sit right there yelling like she usually do. I don't know. It was just like she was the pot calling the kettle black. Like, you came calling Jayla the fan favorite irrelevant when you're the most irrelevant bitch. I don't get, I don't, okay. The next bitch is Tiara from BGC 16. <laughs> Y'all, do you know who that is? Right now, do you know who that is? If I went to say BGC 16, would you know who the two Tiara I was talking about? Because if I said Tiara, y'all would be like $2 from the G. Y'all know damn when I talk about my bitch $2 from the G. I'm talking about that bitch that got on there cooking and singing. BGC, um, fucking, um, what was BGC 16, the social media season, and, like, she is definitely relevant, like, she not relevant, she wasn't relevant on the show, she definitely relevant in real life, like, she do got some songs that's, like, doing numbers, but, girl, like, what did she do, like, on the show, like, her voice was kind of irritating, I think she got in an argument with somebody, but it wasn't really, like, that important, like, she came to a reunion, she dressed the mess most of the time, but she's not, she doesn't ring bells. She's not a Sierra that you be like, oh, she was on Bad Girls Club. Like, if somebody seen her from outside, she's nine out of ten gonna get known for her music than Bad Girls Club. Like, people don't remember you, bitch. Like, I'm sorry. They don't, I don't remember her. I, bitch, you don't, you don't remember her either. Stop playing with me for real. Like, you don't remember that bitch either. Like, she was cool. She was a cool bitch, but she wasn't memorable. This next bitch. This next bitch is literally one of the most irrelevant bitches because she definitely been known for being one of the most irrelevant bitches. She was on BGC Chicago. Motherfucking Rachel. Girl. She another bitch that I thought was gonna do so good until she came to the house and became, became low cousin. And it was like once she became low cousin, bitch, she became low shadow. Y'all, I know y'all cousin, but bitch, you gotta make your own image, make your own shine. Like, half the time I seen Rachel, it was her backing up some shit that had to do with law. Like, at the reunion, the only time Rachel fought was when she was jumping in the fight that Lowe was in because Jada was banging Lowe head in. No <laughs> Jada was getting in low ass. Do not play with her. Jada was getting in low ass. Like, Lowe did have her arms to hit Jada back. But Jada had definitely had that bitch hand was knocking her motherfucking head and Rachel jumped in. Oh, why your dress got a collar? It don't matter. Why your dress got a collar? Bring it back. Bring it back. Don't ring a bell. Like when people be like, um, you know, remember Raisha from Bad Girls Club? They gonna Raisha, Raisha, who, right, Ra Raisha, who the Raisha from Bad Girls Club? Raisha, 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 Raisha. You remember Raisha from Bad Girls? Raisha, like yeah, <laughs> girl. They don't remember you. Now my number. One bitch, the most irrelevant bitch in Bad Girls Club history. She is literally known for being one of the most the biggest letdowns in BGC history because everybody was so like feeling it for her promo video and she was in the house for two seconds and then she went home. <sighs> Look at that fucking say <laughs> BGC fucking 11 Tags. Y'all remember Tags? She was like, white girl on the track, but can't come near it. And then that bitch came in the house, and after two days, she was just like, I just don't want to do this anymore. And like, why? She was like, I just I just can't do this anymore. This is not my vibe. Like, the, bitch, you came to my fucking Bad Girls Club house. What you thought was going to be the vibe, bitch? You make the vibe, girl. You supposed to get on this bitch and make this shit. If you don't like how this shit working, bitch, you need to reprogram it. But uh, other what you do, you become a relevant bitch. 
you say, oh, I don't like it here, and you go home because you seeing it's, it's really bitches in your atmosphere. And when you take a weak bitch from other weak bitches, when they feel like they're they a bad bitch, when you do a bunch of weak bitches, and put them in with a whole bunch of bad bitch, you either gonna sink or you gonna swim, bitch. And what you do, you motherfucking sunk, and you ain't your big, stupid, tattoo body ass to fuck home. And yeah, like I was really gunning for Tess to be one of them girls on bag and stuff. Like I thought she was gonna be a big girl. She was a rapper. I'm like, yeah, who this white girl with these tattoos? Like I can't wait. And this crybaby ass bitch go home on the second day. Like, girl. Next motherfucking video. I hope y'all enjoyed it, y'all. That was my top 11. I think it was like 11 or 12 bitches. Bitch, I was getting in them hoes ass. I'm sorry, bro. I don't even remember. But that was my top 11 most irrelevant bad girls. Let me know in the comments who the bad girls that's most irrelevant to you. Like, let me know your top 10 right now. List them hoes below. Like, y'all be doing my top, my, my favorite and my worst. Make sure y'all list y'all top 11 bitches that's just like, not sure I hate them. But they just don't, they, they don't, like they, they, like, they, like they don't have no, they don't have no flavor, girl. Find my social media, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat, more me, fuck with you, my native base, about you, now I'm gonna see that I'm just the realest to ever do it, like for real, for real. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, please subscribe, what is your tea? I would greatly appreciate it, baby. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you stop on that like button, like, girl, like, 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 beer girls club, stop on these girls' images, like. Y'all really gonna be out and about and be like, was it you on back? Like, it's different from saying like, oh my god, that bitch was on back stuff. But it was like, like, you was on back. <laughs> I need to stop. That's the motherfucking video, y'all. And same gang. This was, oh, I hate this. Like, that's the motherfucking video, y'all. And same gang. Since we out. Don't you look back, this duka, duka. Get a little bitch, eat ooda. He shooter, shooter. Money bad contract, do that to ya. Stand alone, don't focus the scene. Say my talk too tough, mind a minute to me. Because I grow around drugs, I ain't talk for routine. Bitch, I shoot your block up, do a spin the street. Ah, my t shirt, Gabbana. Benji, do what I wanna. Count M's, don't fly.